Okay, this is how to rebuild your Mer Cruiser two barrel carburetor. Yeah, gotta, gotta unscrew this bad boy right here. Yeah. yeah, screw that bad boy right there. Hold that one off. Now we're gonna unplug this hose right here in the back. Just like that. Yeah. Now we're gonna ease down here and take that off. Right there. It's gonna be that 716. So Get that bad boy off of there like that. Just go on and just get it on off of there. After you get that one right there, I'll work on that one. And we're gonna work on that one right there. Where we at? Where we at? Right there. And then there's one more back there. Where we? Where, where that is? We're gonna get those four off of there. And then we're gonna get that carburetor inside, man. All right. So a couple things right here. Um, when you take this off, uh, if it's been a while, there's going to be some gasket on Get something and scrape that gasket off. And make sure it's clean before the carburetor gets back on. Second part, get some rags or something, put them down in here, because that'll prevent anything from falling. Third, uh, on the bottom of them uh, nuts we took off, there was washers. So make sure you pull them washers up before you lift the carburetor off or they could potentially fall down into the holes. And besides that, time to get started on the carburetor. John! You ready to help me take this carburetor apart? All right, let's, let's get to it then. I'm going to start off taking uh, these three out with a flat tip. It's going to pop off, and there's another screw in there. we got to get it. Once you take those three screws out, this right here pops off, lay that over there, this is going to pop off, and there is two more screws in there we need to get out, actually three more screws, and then this piece right here, this whole assembly right here will pop off. Should be this screen, so yeah, this, the screen in there, and there's going to be a spring in here. Make sure you keep all that together. That way we don't lose anything. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start popping all these screws out. We're gonna pop down screws out, every one of them on the top right there. And then also unscrew this. So before we take all the screws out the top, we're gonna pop this clip off right here. Focus action going on. Alright, so there's a clip right here. We're going to pop this off. And then we're going to unscrew this. And we're just going to take all these right here off. But make sure you take a picture of it, just so you know exactly how it goes back on. And also, uh, the idle screw on this side. Go ahead and uh, let's not pop this one all the way up. Just to where it's not touching when it's closed like that. So we're gonna go ahead and take all that off. And then we're gonna pop all these screws out the top. So on this particular carburetor, uh, this uh, linkage right here is hooked in the center one. Yours could be different. And then it comes to right there. Then what you gonna to wanna to do after you pop that linkage off is get a flat tip. Uh, get the biggest one you can find, that way you don't mess this screw up right here. Uh, them are pretty hard to get off sometimes. Once you take that screw out, you can get the rest of the linkages off. Now, time to start taking all the screws out the top of it. Alright, just a side note for you. Every screw you take off is the same size, except this one right here. And the way to tell is that it's raised higher than the other ones. All these are the exact same height except for this one and that's the longer one. Uh, once that's done then we could separate the top of the carburetor from this uh, but first let's go ahead and unscrew, unscrew this right here. So. 
Alright, a lot of times uh, when you try to separate it, it's going to be pretty hard. So you're going to have to use some uh, negotiation. <laughs> See what I'm saying? A little bit of negotiation. But just don't mess it up. Um, don't whack it too hard. This particular one came, came apart a lot easier than I thought. I didn't even have to use any negotiation on it. But, uh, so we got a part. Now this is what it's going to look like on the inside. Be careful because there is a float on that. Right there. You see the float? So all this is going to have to be... So one of these is in the rebuild kit, so we don't have to worry about that. But... Let's go ahead and remove the gaskets, um, start taking everything apart, and get it out of here. Yeah, this thing definitely needs to be rebuilt, so... Uh, this is what the inside of this looks like. Take all that apart too. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and start disassembling this. I'm going to go ahead and remove the float. Do that by pulling this right here. Let's sit over there. So to be able to come out, then you have the needle. So um, when you take out the needle, it is actually three separate pieces. You have the needle, you have this piece right here that comes out, and then there's a string on that. So just make sure you don't lose all that. Uh, we're going to unscrew this right here. Uh, what you want to use is the biggest flat tip, probably the biggest flat tip you have. Um, so you're going to mess that up. but. Stick the flat tip in there, and then go ahead and unscrew that piece. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, unscrew that and take that out. And I don't know if it was in the camera, but I'm just going to unscrew that piece. We're going to take the fill screw out. I'm not going to take the float off. I mean the uh, choke. I'm just going to clean it up really good. And then I'm going to remove this guy. So it's going to. Pop that screw off. Area up here. This should slide out. It's kind of difficult to do with one hand. So it's going to slide out like that. And then this right here. Pressing time to get that gasket off. One thing I failed to mention is with this right here, that don't come in the rebuild kit. And I would not take that off just because uh, you could break it, and if you break it, you're screwed. So uh, don't take that off, and then just, um, yeah, I know the, the thumbnail was a little long time to cut that thing, but don't take this off. Just uh, leave it on there. We're gonna soak this thing in carburetor cleaner, and that should free it up a little bit. We're also gonna spray some uh, silicone lubricant on there, and that would free it up even more. So, yeah. Besides that, I think we're good to go with this disassembly. I'm not gonna take this ball valve. I mean, this choke valve off. You want? You can if you want to. Um, I just don't like doing it if I don't have to, because these screws are easy to break. So, don't worry about doing that. And that should cover the top section on taking this apart. So now it's time to work on the bottom section. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and take these three screws out. So when you pull this out, you can flip it over. And you see that gasket right there needs to come off. There's one in the rebuild kit. And then, look at all that gunk. This is nasty. That's real nasty. But there's a pin right here. Let's see. I'm sorry. So, this right here uh, is going to have to come out. We're going to have to get some needle nose and uh, pull it out. It's like a little T-fitting holding some, holder or something like that. But we're going to pull that out and that will be the next step. What, boy? Oh yeah, that's what this looks like. Then there's a spring that goes in. I'm rebuilding the carburetor, boy. All right, and 
then right there this comes out this one's a stainless steel if a stainless steel one comes out put the stainless steel one back in from the rebuild kit uh, there's a large one and a small one make sure it matches up but most time if it's the stainless steel then we're the same sizes I forgot to tell you take that off Take this piece right here off. That can be a pain in the butt to get off, by the way. So. Take that out of there. And then, what we're gonna do is take these two, get a flat tip and take those out of there. So, these two things come out of right there, the flat tip screwdriver. All right, so what I'm gonna do is get my air hose, my air compressor, and shoot all these little ports and jets. I'm gonna shoot all in there with it, um, and clean it up with that. And I'm gonna get a uh, scraper and scrape off all this old gasket. I'll probably clean that paint up right there too. All right, y'all got some of this good old Kim Bill carburetor parts and parts planer. Um, so what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do the top portion first, put it down in there, make sure you always wear gloves with this of course, I'm gonna get uh, this right here, sit it down in there with it, that way I can knock two birds out with one stone, and I'm just gonna ease it down in there like that. Soak that. I'm gonna soak that for, for a couple hours. I'm gonna bring that out and I'm gonna put this bed boy down in there. I don't look like it'll fit, but if you angle it just right, you can get it down in there. So, yeah. After I do that, then um, it'll be time to start putting this thing back together. So, if you will, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like this video if that helped you out at all. And I'll see you on the next video.